Hey folks, and welcome back to my Eliza P walkthrough. So we've just finished off Barren Swamp, and we're now going to proceed to the next area. We're going to go ahead and grab that, and we'll get to that item in a minute. We are back to puppets, and as you can see, fire damage not effective. So let's get the acid spear back on. Get out of here. <sighs> what? How did the first hit connect and the second one missed? Come here. Alright, we need to start leveling this acid spear. Alright, so down here we're gonna have another one of these big boys with the rings. Although his ring is gone. So you don't have to worry about those attacks. Still hits hard. Oh! Nope. Get out of here. Hey. Sit down. Stay dead. Alright. So kill him, grab that, grab that. And we're gonna come over here and open this door. And carcasses. So, back to the fire dagger. Uh, there's nothing there, and then go through here, up the ladder. Let's go over here. What you doing over now? Alright. And then you're going to want to go behind you there. And here is that item and we got ourselves some sewer sludge and another earthquake so run over here grab that run back get out of the sludge and you want to be quick about the decay. You can either wait or you can just pop an ampule. There's going to be an enemy up here. Well, nope, I'm thinking of something else. Alright. And hey, look, we're back in the Krotz train station. So, in this train station, we're going to have some carcass enemies. You can tell things have gotten worse since the last time we were here. Did you feel that? An ergo amplification effect coming from Krat Central Station. And here's our stargazer. Now, in this area, we have plenty of these little brain sucker dudes. Some more of 
these guys dropping from the ceiling and then exploding when you kill them. Although I, I feel like their explosion like takes longer to throw you off now. As before, backstab prevents the explosion. So you take care of these guys, and then you got another area with the green fog and the things. You also have an enemy that kind of looks familiar, but I promise you he is a different enemy. Uh, these are kind of a combination of the the dudes with the big bulbous arms that like to get up in your face and also um, the ones who used to who used to chuck stuff at you so we're gonna toss this here and we're gonna try and plunge oh, nope missed it I wanted to get a plunge attack on that one but yeah, see right there, he's going to throw decay at you. Um, don't be afraid to get up on these guys. Although, he got me with the decay there. That ain't good. Alright, uh, I'm already under decay, so I really shouldn't have bothered with that, but... Alright. They don't have the most health, but they do also, um, similar to the way the pandemonium arm works, they leave trails of decay that are a problem. But you can see they aren't like the most aggressive enemy. I'm trying to wait for this thing to come back so I can get rid of it and not deal with it. And helm at the same time. And also, as with most carcasses, they are mm, fairly susceptible to flamberge. <sighs> Come here. Stop chucking shit at me. I don't normally have so much trouble with these guys. Oh no, oh no, oh no. He has broken my weapon. can kill these guys faster. I'm just not being aggressive enough. Yeah. As you can see, I was not being aggressive with him. Because I was trying to, like, finesse him. It's really not the way to go. Um, honestly, with those guys, just killing them as fast as possible is a is the solid choice. We're going to grab that quartz, <clears throat> and then we never have to come back down here again, which is nice. I'm actually going to go ahead and return to Stargazer, so I can do this without getting my ass whooped. do have to kill these guys again, but yeah, whatever. He's noticed me. That's fine. Come on. Charge, charge, charge. Die! Now, the next section of this. Uh, over here we're going to have a shortcut we'll unlock shortly. Down here, we got some more enemies. You plunge this one, and then take care of this one. <clears throat> I 
There's a dude hanging off the side of that train. He's actually going to climb up first. And then dude here. Now, these are a new version of carcass enemy. They are headless carcasses. And it's hard to explain what's about to happen. Uh, these things are really annoying because at a distance they'll do this thing where they slam their head into the ground and then a tentacle comes up from underneath you. Uh, up close they just hit hard. All right, and this is the train car from hell because there's going to be a bunch of enemies up here as you can see so thing to do yeah see they haven't fixed it here you can't flamethrower him through the door the door acts as a barrier to the flamethrower now that being said uh, with an advanced build the easiest way to deal with these guys is that they are very susceptible to fire and you yep, there he goes with his head oh and here are the annoying baby variant these guys oh, like to jump at you uh, they do a fury attack where they launch a tentacle at you from a distance and then come charging in to hit you. Uh, doesn't deal a lot of damage. The problem is it's a fury attack, so if you don't perfect guard it, you're still going to be staggered by it. Um, they are very irritating to deal with. But... And they also don't stagger for shit. Alright. So the little half ones are irritating. The headless ones are irritating. We've reached the point in the game where every enemy is just irritating. For instance, that looks like a puppet, right? No, that is a carcass-possessed puppet. Which now, along with being able to do the attacks that they were doing previously with the signpost, they also do uh, horizontal attacks, um, three hit like sweep attacks with really long range. <sighs> so yeah, everything's just getting more annoying. Um, interestingly, and I do find this interesting. Like, there's something to be said about how reusing enemies is cheap, and yes. Reusing enemy types lowers your variety of enemies and could be considered, and in many cases, is just a cheap way to um, save on having to design different enemy types. Um, I actually like the fact that while they are reusing new enemy types, they do have a different visual aesthetic, as well as different move sets. So the new enemies which are going to irritate the heck out of you do look similar to the old ones, but at the same time, they do not fight the same way. This guy is getting me again because I'm not staying up on him. You can see his attacks really don't do much damage. It's the decay that's the problem. Um, so if you end up having to eat attacks, just get up on that dude and kill him. I mean, go ahead. It, it could just be necessary to make it work. Alright. So we've unlocked another shortcut. That's always nice. Yep. Go ahead and 
pop that. Okay, there. Is this where I think it is? Because if it is, I want to do something about it. Yep, it is. I see them over there. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and pop that. In the distance, there's another one. Enemy right there. And then the next one. You can see, let me get out of the decay. Try to pull that enemy back a bit. So I'm not fighting him in decay. Okay, so we take care of those guys. And then the plant for this one is right back here. Grab that chunk. And it's kind of irritating getting into that one because, um, as you saw, it is hidden. You gotta break through those boxes to get to it. <sighs> Alright. Now, that is actually the entrance we came through originally. And then there's this dude. Oh, I didn't expect him to come out after me like that. Um, normally, he stays in this little area here. Uh, but we have no heals, and that guy is a pain to deal with. So we're going to sprint past him. We're going to come up here. We will deal with him, but first, here we go. We're going to open up this shortcut. Which will mean that there is nothing between us, or nothing between him, us, and this stargazer. So now we're going to go deal with him. These enemies are so frustrating. Um, I think there's, I forget how many there are total, three, four, something like that. Problem is... They are covered in, like, rock-hard scales that are a... that are difficult, like, you will rebound off of if you just try to hit them. Um, their head is weak, but they also have strong forward attacks. Right there, you're seeing me bounce off. Um, and you also just don't deal a lot of damage when you hit them there. You can hit them from behind. But hitting them from behind is also not great because they have big tail swipes. The easiest way to deal with them is exactly what I'm doing now, which is to get to their side and instead of trying to hit them with a weapon, hit them with fire. Use the flamberge. Their attacks aren't great at catching you from the side. And their armor doesn't do anything to stop the flamberge damage. So that is the easiest way to deal with them. come here and hey this is the train car we first started on that's where we got our weapon and this is where we picked up Jiminy and come back here this is the chair and there's an 
note there that wasn't there before, but importantly, now that you can attack and dodge, yes, you can break that. You There's a collectible here. What is this? Who would <clears throat> And there's a new cartridge. Actually, I need... I forgot. I have not done my equipment upgrades. God. I keep forgetting to do them. Um, we're going to put on that. Because corruption is going to be pretty common. We're going to put on... The later... No. Shock. Disruption. Disruption is going to matter soon, but not right now. Um, interestingly, for some reason, there's also this. Uh, you can upgrade your weapons, alter handles. Um, basically, anything you can do at crop, Hotel Crop other than level up can be done here. Don't really know why. Maybe I can modify a legion arm, I don't know. Nope, no calibers. Alright. But yeah, that's what that is. Uh, I missed that on two playthroughs. Absolutely just didn't know it was there twice. So, do keep it in mind. <sighs> Alright. So next up... We are actually going to go back to the Stargazer because there is a major pain in your ass coming up. And you want to be ready for it. Alright, so. We're about to take on what I consider to be the worst stalker fight in the game. And it's not because of anything uh, spammy. Uh, remember this train car, we'll come back to it later. Um, it's not because of anything like glitchy, it's just this is what's about to happen is one of the most skill intensive fights in the game. Um, the enemy is just really aggressive and really powerful. Alright, so watch out for these guys. These are a swarm of these little puppets that I hate. Throwing tantrums, jumping at you, interrupting you when you try to flame them. Uh, don't stop interrupting you when you try to heal. And apparently being immune to my flamberge, that's not fair. I don't know what just happened with the terrain there. Stop it. God, it's like dealing with an angry toddler. Just flailing everywhere. Alright. So survive that nonsense. And your reward is a meat cleaver. I, I joke. This is actually a really nice weapon. Um, it is... Let's see. Do, 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 do. The weapon itself, not great. Um, it is a technique weapon. Uh, da, da, da. Blade Narc reduces stamina consumption, then you got Furious Slash. Um, nice thing about Furious Slash is it's one of the attacks that can use uh, over three Fable charges. Um, you just hold down L1 and hold down the triangle, and it just goes into a huge swing of attack. But you'll notice range sucks, but it's got a really fast and surprisingly wide set of swipes on the handle.
Um, so as a weapon itself, I don't really care for it. But the handle is really pretty nice to have. Um, you put the right blade on it, and that handle just will absolutely decimate stuff. Because uh, it's a fairly fast um, attack pattern. Pretty good charge attack. A nice uh, fable arc. Oop. Thought I was going to be able to grab that without him dropping on my head. A nice fable art and um, just pretty good scaling too. So it's it's nice for a technique build if you're not using a boss weapon. Uh, next time we'll see Aladora, I'll actually show you my favorite boss weapon. So this is another stalker enemy. <sighs> Robber Weasel is irritating look at that distance close those attacks hurt and also like the last one the owl doctor they can nope 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 they can throw things at you which will deal significant damage oh come on get off of me you guys i'm trying to do a thing here so what i'm trying to do is i've mentioned it before use enemies to soften up each other I, mean, I thought the robber re weasel would follow me this is not a trick that's particularly good in this case honestly because um, you gotta get all of these guys to each other and attacking each other and right now the weasel is focused on me and these guys are focused on me I need them to focus on each other. There we go. Now the thing about it is, normally I'd say this is, yeah, you know, crazy. Um, the problem is, Robber Weasel is probably actually going to win this without too much trouble. Um, I did manage to get all three of them on her at once which much more effective uh, if she's one-on-one -on -one with them she just absolutely wrecks them uh, even yeah see right there even three on one she absolutely destroyed them and barely took a fourth of her health so is it really worth it I don't know um, but those combos, oh my god. And the punishing from the... She doesn't stagger. I mean, Robber Weasel is such a pain. Um, one of the best techniques is actually to use the uh, Fulminous Arm, the Electric Arm. If you can get off the full charges... You can knock her back just like what I'm doing with the Flamberge. But at this point, like, it's really just not enough. I want to say, yeah, obviously, like, all stalkers try to break her weapon. But her attacks are fast. and hard and when you miss it oh my god oh don't stomp on me try to get distance she closes so fast like the forward momentum on her attacks is ridiculous I mean she's probably gonna kill me here almost certainly I'm about to die I 
and unlike other stalkers, getting behind her for a backstab, damn near impossible. She's just too mobile. And as I said, of course, I managed to get behind her for a backstab. Oh, broke it. Yes. All right, all right, all right, all right. I got an opportunity here. That is the first time I've managed to kill Robber Weasel in one go. Usually it takes me like, I don't know, I, it's hard to average it out because I think the first time took me like 15 attempts. And then New Game Plus and New Game Plus Plus, I think four or five a piece. Um, Robber Weasel is just such a bitch. Breaking her weapon is the only reason I came out ahead in that fight. Alright, so. I didn't do anything up here previously because I just wanted them to... Oh, come on! Right as I come out of the invincibility, you're gonna grab me? What kind of nonsense was that? Alright. So, grab that fragment. Mm. Alright. Now you're past Robber Weasel. I'm gonna come up here. We're now dealing with... Alright, so this is... right back at the start of the game um, so deal with him now over here we got a new enemy type these guys are pretty slow but they don't stagger for anything um, So you can't interrupt their attacks. So despite their slow speed and short range, they can be irritating. But yeah, you're just gonna hit them, dodge out, hit them, dodge out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here. We're gonna have a butterfly here. This is actually one of the safest butterflies to deal with. There's literally nothing here that's going to attack you. So you can just get up on them and kill them. I don't know what the point of that one is. Alright, so. Got an enemy here. Oh, well. I thought I was going to be able to get behind him and deal with him. And there's going to be one in the toilet. I don't know why a puppet carcass infested thing is using the toilet, but apparently he was. Yes, any biological creature has to shit. Alright. Now. Around here, you got your stargazer. And nothing else here. Personally, I think that would have been a great place to include, like, a pulse cell upgrade just for the symmetry of it. But, oh well. 
Now, real quick, uh, we're about to end this episode before we head out that way. But real quick, here is the next Trinity door. Importantly, this is three out of five Trinity doors in the whole game. I did show you where the first one was. I haven't gone back to get it yet. I will after I get the last key. But this one I really like because it gives you a carrier amulet plus one. So you can see we got 127.1. 143.7 way better if you haven't wanted to put points into capacity um, up to this point you would have been definitely going into slightly heavy you would have been using lighter defense parts once you get carrier amulet plus one yeah you're gonna be solid um, if you didn't want to put points into capacity, that amulet is a lifesaver. Also, you get uh, an interesting costume because most costumes are, you know, well, that's so, you know, kind of fancy coattails. Not that one. Um, ridiculous looking. And then you got this one, which honestly looks like the only like workman's outfit like this looks like a dude who's about to get down to some shit except for that cravat all right but we're gonna end this one here and in the next part i will show you the rest of this area uh hopefully we'll be able to reach the boss but i don't know Until next time, y'all be good to yourselves and take it easy.